Hello YouTube fans, how are you? You're probably wondering why I'm looking sad, looking miserable and looking sad. It's because one of my favourite actors has sadly passed away, being Youth James Jr. I don't know if he knows his name right, I never do his names of actors. But Youth James Jr, if nobody knows who I'm on about, think of the tacit, a lot of her and a gentleman. The one that played the sad the one who has a fight with Richard Day. Keeps him in the doodah, one that played the officer in Osborne the Tenkelman. Think of the original, the tacit Iron Eagle. And I remember insulting Iron Eagle too, because it wasn't a good film. But nevertheless, he was in that. He was in all the Iron Eagle films, even though I felt the, it was shooting just a standalone film. But you might remember him being the sergeant in Iron Eagle. I remember not long ago referring to us Fee or Fee D, whatever you want to call it. There you go again. Long James Jr. If I get his name right. And he also played again with Jeff and Jade in another film. That being two years after being Enemy Mind. And how he didn't win an award in Enemy Mind broke my fucking mind because the film. Believe it or not, didn't make that much, even though it dropped a lot of money. It was an epic bomb. When it came out in 1985, it was an epic bomb. Because people thought it was going to be like Star Wars. And it wasn't, it wasn't. And he should have won an award. He wore the makeup, he was the alien guy, given birth. And now when I ever watch that film again, I probably will cry. Never know it's sci-fi, it's made up, it's special effects, but I'll cry. On the scene where Low James Jr. passes away and gives birth. Because we know he's no longer with us. I know, I know he's been ill for some time. He's been ill. But I like the actor. You know, he always had a presence. He always had that dirty sort of smile. He had a presence. i say it again. He had a presence. And you know, he's the old stew type of actor. The sort of actor you will never, ever ever see ever again you will never see an actor like long james jr ever again and it's a fucking shame it's sad i'm sorry to break hearts but a lot of good actors who i remember back in their heyday, day whether it be sean connery whether it be the manager said whether it be woodson hour i'm trying to think of other actors on the way good actors really really good actors are no longer with us they're no longer with us and it's heartbreaking. It is so fucking heartbreaking that these good actors are no longer with us. And it is, he's, he's an old stew type of actor. He was a character type of actor. I liked him. I remember him once being in the series, Roots. Remember that series? Well, Low James Jr. is in a few episodes of Roots. I wouldn't be surprised it's one of the most early things he ever appeared in. And I do remember him playing in The Principal. We've never seen the principal. Another, another damn good film. A very damn good film. Very damn good performance. Not just by him, by other actors as well. We've never seen the principal. Check it out. I recommend it. Same as Enemy Minds. Enemy Minds, in my eyes, my eyes, he played a damn good performance. He really, really played a damn good performance. And it's sad. It's so sad with using these good actors. So I repeat myself. Sean Connery. Woods and Awa. And now another good actor. I remember once even doing a tip to another James Bond. That being Wads and Moore. Well known British actor. You know what I mean? These actors are now passing away. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's a pressing thought, but I'm just being realistic. Nobody lives forever. Nobody lives forever. One day I will pass on this world. And other that people, I'm trying to fucking act to say, but other people will pass away as well as good actors. I mean, I can go on about actors who have died in accidents, who have well known actors who was doing during their prime. You know, like James Dean. And other well known actors, or even singers like Elvis Presley. So you're never going to see an actor like. Low James Jr. again. I mean, I loved him in Airwolf. Airwolf. Duh, we could say Airwolf. I meant to say Iron Eagle. Which is similar. Um, I remember the referring Iron Eagle. And I loved Iron Eagle. I loved the bit. It's a, 
guy who used to be a sergeant, he meets a long lad, he trains him to be a naffer or and to save his father. It was an offensive film. I had just said it without repeating myself. I just felt that that sort of been that sort of been a standalone film. Sort of been a standalone film. We never needed a sequel or anything. But again, even though I ranted on I Need Two, because I thought I Need Two, a lot of people were sagging off the original when it came out in 80, 86, 85, 86, because Top Gun come out roughly the same year, right? Same year. And a lot of people said that Iron Eagle was a top gun knockoff, it was a rip off, it was just a spin off, it was this, but it wasn't, it was its own film. The only thing that had similar going was you had dead aeroplanes, just like Top Gun. You want to see, you want to see a fucking rip off of Top Gun, Iron Eagle 2. But the only decent thing about Iron Eagle 2 was James Lung Jr. You take him out of that film. And it just be what it is, a piece of shit. He checked that film floating like a fucking dead airplane itself. He really did. Oscar and a gentleman. I like the role, I like the lines in it. You know what I mean? I like the, li the lines in it. What are you staring at? Big use of it. These rings, they're the rings you're going out with. Are you a dear, a, a dear or a queer? You're going to be a queer. It's the bad boy, my son. <laughs> You're giving me an hard on. I told you we'd get away with that now, no physical connect and all that. But I loved it. I just thought it was hilarious the way he says it. It's a bad boy, my son. Stop saying that, my son. <laughs> You're giving me an hard on. You best of bad boy, my boy. I'll tear out your fucking eyes. And I just loved the bit where he fights. Classic scene, he fights with Richard D. You think Richard D is going to get the better of it. But then he, he does a dirty move. I know, I know, he does a dirty move. He uses his leg, kicks him in the doodah. And he leaves poor Richard D <laughs> on the phone in Adina. But I like that. I like the idea. He was a sergeant. He was just doing his job. When I first saw Oscar and the Gentleman, I thought that the character, Low James Jr. was a bully and all this. But not really, not really. Richard Day wanted a fight, he started a fight, all he did was provide him what he wanted. Yeah, he played dirty, but in all fairness, people too play dirty in a fight. That's how I look at it. His later films, as he was getting older, and what I mean, there wasn't the best. Some of them were TV movies, some of the later Iron Eagle films were correct to fucking DVD or probably in the day, back to video. Some of them just made for TV, and you could see it. It was such a TV budget. It was unbelievable. But, yeah, I miss Low James Jr. Remember him in Jaws 3D. Remember him in the tacit Iron Eagle. The only thing that kept the other Iron Eagles going was him. You get rid of him, but he kept it going. The principal... Damn good film. The film I think he should he should have won an award. It's sci-fi. So fucking what? People pay Star Wars. Star Wars won an award for special effects. People pay Tosin Towton for the third time. Guess what? Won an award for special effects. Now a total classic. So don't say it's sci-fi. Low James Jr. should have won a fucking award for that film. Should have won an award for best actor. There you go, that's just me being opinionated, big word. So, to my mate, Low James Jr., couple of minutes science, to a very good actor who is sadly never going to see ever again. Thank you. Another one departed. See you later.